feel like this is very appropriate. Death is literally at our doorstep. Since the day I ordered the ducks and decided to get a mix of both males and females, I knew it was an inevitability that I was going to have to cull them. So I'm not exactly excited about this though, but at the same time this has been a part of the farm plan. It feels like sort of like a rite of passage of sorts, I guess. And so we're going to cull most of the male ducks. Good morning, cats. Hey, Lil. Hey, Pablo. We had a successful duck harvest yesterday. In a text message to me last night, my buddy Jeff described it as a connection with another living being that he had never felt before, and he found the whole experience humbling. I know, a lot fewer ducks, right? Now I'm sure you guys are wondering, how did I end up processing the ducks? Well, the way it worked was like this. Once I finally separated the males from the females, I herded all the males over to the portable duck tractor. I kept the ducks inside here for, oh, I don't know, it was about 16 hours or so. Allison decided to feed them a last meal of some canned peas. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I'm really not looking forward to this. So I had uh, four people helping me out yesterday. I had my friend Nick, who's a chef. I had my friend Jeff, who's a brewer. I had my friend Leslie, who's just this super helpful homesteading type lady. And she brought along her father, John. None of my friends had ever processed ducks before, so I decided it would be a good idea to have them watch a couple of YouTube videos to see how it's done. I'll make a playlist so you guys can watch how to harvest ducks. If you're curious about the more technical how-to side of it, watch that playlist. You'll be able to see how it's really done. This video is gonna be more about the emotional and mental side of it all. I thought I was gonna have a harder time than I did with killing the ducks. Um, it was, you know, once I got the rhythm down and once I got the feel for where the vein that I needed to hit was, um, it went pretty quickly and pretty smoothly. Each time that I killed the ducks here, I would pick them up out of the duck tractor. Easy buddy, easy buddy. Settle them down and hold them close to me like this, and they actually seemed to calm down pretty quickly. And then I'd bring them over to the cone, drop them in, flip them upside down. When they're in the cone, they don't flap and fight and struggle. They're, they're actually pretty sedate and chill. What we would do is, you know, smack them upside the head with a two by four to stun them, and then uh, cut their throat. Uh, or the veins like along the sides of their throat and they would bleed out and they'd be dead very very quickly. They always talk about you know ducks and chickens flapping around from uh, you know the the reaction of the nervous system shutting down. I actually found it soothing for me personally to actually hold them and comfort them as they were dying. It might not have done anything for the duck but for me as the human it, it actually was helpful. We bled them into the buckets and then once we had them bled, we actually hung them on the clothesline um, to just kind of sit for a few minutes while we went through and killed all the ducks. It was tough, but it wasn't as tough as I thought it was gonna be. The hardest thing about harvesting the ducks I found was actually the plucking part. I had this um, little propane burner that I had traditionally used for making maple syrup. We tried to keep the temperature around 130 degrees and we would dunk the birds 
several times vigorously. You know, we put a bit of Dawn soap in the water when we scalded them. I find the packaging for the Dawn soap very ironic. We hoped that it would break down the oil in their feathers so that the hot water could penetrate and loosen up the feathers. Um, it only kind of worked. And then we would bring them over here, which is where we had the chicken plucker. A friend of mine actually was really nice enough to loan it to me. Um, and so I really appreciate that, to, so thank you to him. We used the plucker. We would put one, sometimes two at a time in there and it would just spin them around and the rubby nubby fingers uh, would get the feathers off. But uh, there was still a lot of hand plucking we had to do. And I gotta admit, we didn't even do the, the best job at plucking. It does not look like it came from a grocery store. There is an occasional pin feather or two still stuck in the bird. When I do this again sometime in the future, figuring out a better plucking system is one of the things on my to-do list. So after the plucking happened, my buddy Nick, who as I mentioned earlier, is a chef, and an amazing chef at that. He went to work and started gutting the birds, pulling out the organs. We cut off a lot of the fat and we created a bag of, of fat that we were just collecting for all the duck fat. Um, we're gonna process that sometime in the future. We also saved all of the livers, which we're gonna make into something as well pretty soon. We also collected all of their feet as well. The goal was to use as much of the birds as we possibly could. We did have a bucket of organs and entrails though that uh, I tossed in the far, far back reaches of the woods. Once we had the ducks gutted, we put them in these plastic heat shrink bags, shrunk the bags, bagged them up, and then we tossed them in the freezer. So that was it. That was the process we went through to harvest the ducks. I'm hoping that this is giving you guys a better sense of how we approach this. I'm sure I'm leaving a lot of information out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to make a follow-up Q&A video. It, was, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, I thought I was gonna have a really hard time. I can remember showing up at this very spot, right from the post office with a box of baby ducklings in my arms. You know, I sprinted and took them right over there to that room, right in that spot right there by in, beyond the clothesline. That's where I brooded them for four weeks. And then from right here, that's where they first put them in the duck tractor and moved them all the way back there until they ultimately were out in the pasture. So they led this life that I think was pretty good here on our farm. They were outside most of the time. They always had plenty of space. And so I feel good about the experience that I went through to raise them. I mean, is it fun to kill a duck? No. Is it fun to pluck a duck? Most definitely not. But at the same time, I feel so good about what I've just done too. 13 ducks from an egg laying breed got to live full lives that you know, in the conventional egg producing industry, birds like that would have never existed. So yeah, all in all, it was a good experience harvesting the ducks yesterday. I had a great learning experience and I feel like I'm, I've got a closer connection to where my food comes from. I had a great bonding experience with several of my friends as we <laughs> processed all of those ducks. And on top of it all, whole bunch of meat in the freezer.